Hi Gukesh. Hi. So Gukesh, when did your journey with the Westbridge Anand Chess Academy begin? And when, how was it when you got to know about it? Um, around 2020 December, I I got an invitation for the to be a part of the Vaka Academy. And of course with Vishy Anand sir heading the team and all these great coaches, I was very excited about it. And yeah, I, I, from, we started our classes uh, maybe a couple of months after that. And yeah, it has been an amazing journey for sure. So, when the classes began, what was the schedule like? Uh, it was usually, uh, there were some fixed dates, uh, fixed uh, days of the week for different coaches. So, um, I think uh, like thrice a day, I mean thrice a week or uh, maybe uh, sometimes four, uh, four times also we were having classes and um, yeah, uh, that was basically the schedule. And how how did it uh, help you overall? Because clearly you you worked with Vishnu as well. Uh, there were other things that you worked on your own as well. So what was the role of Vaka predominantly in your chess? I think uh, the most important thing is uh, like just training with uh, you know very experienced uh, people. Vishnu sir is of of course a great coach and also. Here in Vaka, I got to train with the, you know, uh, Vishyanand sir, who is who's had a lot of experience at the elite. And uh, take for example, Yusupo sir, or Sandeep and Gayevski all have worked with Vishy sir and have been to a lot of uh, super tournaments. And that was uh, really helpful to get all these insights. And um, and yeah, the chess part, I mean, we we worked on different paths with different coaches. And uh, yeah, Yusupo, for example, is an in-game expert, so that was really something that, that really helped. I spoke to all of the coaches and I tried to understand what their roles were. So briefly, I, f I understood that uh, Gayevsky was mainly about openings. Mm -hmm. uh, Yusupo was more like, you know, this uh, sort of decision-making, these uh, things which were not com completely computerish. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also Boris Gelfand was a lot about how you think in chess and at the top level. And what and Sandeepan, I'm not sure about his role, but what was his uh, role? So, do you think like each trainer had a different role? Uh, yeah, surely. Um, we had some classes with uh, Vishyanan sir also, where we mainly solved some positions or analyzed some games. And uh, the coaches, uh, so Sandeepan sir's... Uh, um, what we were doing was analyzing some games and uh, it was mostly about middle game decision making and also some openings which were like, um, I mean Sandeepan sir is of course very creative so uh, we got to see a lot of interesting opening, uh, opening openings which you know were not really computerish and uh, you suppose sir was uh, for end games uh, mostly and uh, Gaevsky was for opening openings and we analyzed a lot of openings. We got some very interesting opening ideas. Gaevsky is, has been a second mm -hmm. to many top players and has been a long time coach for Vishy sir. So we got a lot of interesting ideas as well. So. And Boris Gelfand sir, we, I think from 2021 end, we, we had a few sessions. And uh, yeah, I mean, with uh, Boris Gelfand sir, it's mostly about uh, some specific theme and we see a lot of games and try to understand what uh, those themes basically. <coughs> so, and wh what was it with Anand? Like you said, you solved a lot of position. Mm -hmm. uh, would you kind of, would he also not know the answer and then all of you would try to find it along with him or how was it? Yeah, sometimes we, Anand sir like uh, knows the solution and he sets up some positions for us to solve. Uh, he also sends us like positions uh, apart from classes uh, like homework or something and we solve them and uh, and um, sometimes it's like we just take a game which he finds interesting and we just analyze it like uh, just very casually just uh, I mean everyone suggests some moves and we just analyze it without computers and I mean we check the analysis later with computers but at the, the start we just analyze with uh, on our own and 
I mean, just getting, you know, getting to know how a great player like Vishesha thinks. I mean, thinking with him, so like, just uh, understanding how he thinks is just has been hugely uh, useful for me and the whole team. One thing that was common to all trainers when I asked them uh, about you was that you are the most curious in all the sessions. Like you had the most questions. Is that something you try to do or is does that come naturally to you when someone's teaching about chess you have all these questions um i didn't really realize that <laughs> no i asked them yeah all of them okay and they were all like gukesh had the sort of the most questions and also the best questions he was always very curious to learn mm -hmm. so that comes naturally to you yeah yeah, most probably. I didn't even realize that I was asking too many questions. <laughs> but yeah, probably that just... Uh, I'm just naturally that way. I don't know. Uh, do you recall any specific kind of a uh, thing that you learnt mm -hmm. from, from Waka that you could apply to your own games and that was very useful to you? Um, there were a lot of, uh, lot of games and... Uh, it's hard to specify some very specific move or game, but one thing I remember is uh, uh, we analyzed some, uh, uh, you know, Ruggos in lines with Gaevsky, sir, and uh, especially this Queen A4 check, uh, Knight C6, A3 line. And uh, we spent some time uh, here with Gaevsky, the whole group, and and uh, I have been using it, like, a lot, and I scored some very nice victories with this line, so... Yeah, that has been something. Uh, was Didn't you score a very nice win with Sargisyan in this line? Uh, that was a bit different. That was uh, Queen A4, Knight C6, E3. And, uh, this is uh, Queen A4, check, Knight C6, A3. And who, whom did you beat? Do you I, I first tried it against uh, Levon and uh, Goldman Asian Rapid. And I was uh, clearly better, but I uh, lost that game. But uh, after that, I uh, beat some strong players like Mez, Sebastian, some 2500s. So. Like I remember some four or five victories with this, with this line. And I mean, it leads to very com complicated positions. And yeah, we just analyzed with guys and the rest like, helped me with a lot of games. So, yeah. so now that you have reached a very high rating of 27, 25, and you are close to 25, in, you are number 25 in the world, do you think that this entire Waka training, if it wasn't there, it would have slowed you down to uh, reach there? Mm. I'm not sure about that. Mm. Because anyways, I was working very hard. and um, I don't know, in pandemic, I think a lot of uh, credit should go to Vishnu, sir. Because, uh, I mean, he really... Um, pushed me to work on even other areas and not only on chess like physical fitness or mental fitness so I mean uh, that was one thing but um, uh, yeah Vaka I mean I learned a lot of things from Vaka and it has been really really useful but um, I can't say I would have slowed down if if not for Vaka but of course it has been like really really useful for me. Fantastic thanks so much Gukesh.